Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we're going to be discussing what's actually going on with the Mudrunner USA expansion pack. There's been a lot of back and forth on the forums, there's been a lot of back and forth on places like Facebook and Reddit uh, about what is actually going on with this expansion and why some people are excited about it and other people are maybe not so happy about um, the way it's being presented. Now, they recently did a community update in July and I didn't cover it in Immediately when they did it because I was like not quite sure I wanted to wait for the community's reaction to that update because to be honest there wasn't a lot in the update there wasn't a lot that they told us that we didn't already know now one of the main things that they said was that there's no screenshots they can share with us at this time that we'll have to wait for those and to be fair, they, they they also they were like we can't share release dates and we can't well we can't share anything exact and we can't share any screenshots we can't share any gameplay video as well so those things honestly they I feel like they rubbed a lot of people the wrong way a lot of people kind of came away from that thinking oh well does that mean there's like nothing in this update does that mean there's like nothing in this expansion does that mean there's only like two trucks and like you know, is it, they mean it's only like a reskin version of the game itself and that they're going to like, you know, um, try to market it as like this whole new thing when in reality it's like not that. Honestly, I think people are jumping to conclusions because it's way early to be making assumptions like that. It's way, way early to be making assumptions like uh, assumptions like that. And I think if you make assumptions like that, you'll end up you'll end up kind of kind of cutting yourself short in terms of like the grand scheme of what this update's going to be. I say we wait until we see some actual reveals in terms of screenshots and video and actual descriptions of what's going to be in the expansion rather than jumping to conclusions on saying it's just a reskinned version of the current game. Now, you'll be able to get this as two in two separate ways. Now, also, they haven't announced pricing for it yet, but you'll be able to get this in two separate ways. One will be as an expansion for your currently existing Mudrunner, and two will be in a bundle package with Mudrunner and the American Wilds expansion called uh, Spin Tires Mudrunner American Wilds Edition. So, if you haven't bought the game yet and you're waiting until that update comes out, that might actually be a good thing to do because you'll get the entire game as well as the USA uh, expansion expansion, the American Wilds expansion, uh, all in one package. Now, to be fair, most of the community has the game already, so I think that the people that buy that, that dual pack will be new players. I don't think that'll be, you know, I don't think there'll be a lot of current players that will get that package. I mean, it doesn't really make sense for anybody that already has the game. So, with that being said... I think they're trying to market it to new people as well, and I think that they've got a good opportunity to market it to new people with it being in an environment that this game hasn't explored really ever, being the USA. And now we already know about Hummer, we already know about Western Star, and I'm sure that there are other manufacturers, and somebody actually had a great point on the forums that they made, and that is the fact that, honestly, they probably can't talk about a lot of this stuff because a lot of it's probably under NDA. So that's another thing to think about. It's like they can't talk about stuff like this just, you know, kind of willy-nilly at random. They have to, these have to go through all the sp specific channels, all the appropriate approvals um, for certain materials to actually be talked about. Specifically, that one of the things they do have to be careful about is whenever they're talking about licensed vehicles, they might have an agreement with a certain vehicle manufacturer that they can't talk about a certain vehicle until a certain date, especially if it's a newer vehicle. Now, to be fair, I don't think they're going to be they're going to be using a lot of newer vehicles in this expansion. I feel like it's probably going to be a lot of, like, classic, you know, big American rigs. But, but, you never know. There could be some involvement from some newer trucks, uh, some newer American trucks in this game. And honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that that's something we should all be excited about. But at the same time, I do think we have to keep that in our minds and think to ourselves, like, hey... You know, maybe it is a little frustrating that they couldn't talk about much in that previous update. Yes, I get it. I com completely 100% get how it could be frustrating. But what I also get is that there's a lot of different things that have to be gone through and a lot of different things that have to be talked about and, and channels that things have to go through in order to 
actually be able to talk about these things officially. Because if you remember, you know, the community manager can't just like blah, 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 say what he, whatever he wants. He can say what he needs to say, but within a certain scope. You know what I mean? Like he's got a certain scope of things that he can say that he's allowed to say based on uh, the developer and the publisher. So that's another thing to keep in mind and is that if you don't quite understand how that works, then I can get your frustration. But remember, these guys have things they're not allowed to talk about until certain dates. They have non-disclosure agreements. They have specific key points that they have to hit on. I'm sure that they have a community update schedule. Now, do I think that we can expect a uh, th do I think we can expect pictures maybe in the next community update, like the August community update? Very possibly. I think I think shooting for screenshots in the August community update is a lot more uh, realistic than expecting them to have come in the July community update. I feel like expecting them to come in the July community update was honestly um, a little bit quick on a lot of people's parts. Now, did I want to see screenshots? Absolutely, I did. 100% I did. But, but this part right here is actually super embarrassing when it just went over coming down the hill for no apparent reason. I mean, like, that was all on me. That was like my flub. I 100% screwed that up. But, 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 the big thing that we got to remember here is that, yes, I, we all want to see, we all want to see what this looks like. We all want to see what the new visual style, if there is one, looks like. We all want to see what the new, what the new vehicles look like. We all want to see what the new maps look like. And, Frankly, I'm really, 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 really hoping there's a lot of content here, because if there is a lot of content here, then it would make this last. And honestly, I feel like there's going to be a lot of content, because if you think think about it up till now, you know, they've been doing new maps and new vehicles completely for free. So think about what they'll do for a paid expansion. So that gives me really high hopes and expectations for what could come out of this expansion pack because of what we've seen and the track record that we've seen in the past. So... I feel pretty confident that they're putting in a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of energy into the American Wilds expansion to make something great out of it. So I think that there's a that you don't have to worry about it being like two maps and a couple of trucks and bleh, like that's it. I feel like it's going to be a lot more than that, and I feel like there's going to be a lot to it. We're just going to have to be patient and wait and see. So that's my interpretation of that like that's my interpretation of the community update the latest community update and how it went over i think that it's important again to remember that the the update itself is it's like it's one of those things where it's one of those things where you know if they don't show something, even if it's like super early, if they don't show something, people are going to get upset. They're just going to get upset. And that's like, that's, that's kind of like the long and short of how that stuff works sometimes. Now, also, if you are a Nintendo Switch player and you've been waiting to get your hands on Mudrunner, this is going to be your chance when the game comes out on the Switch later this year. And they have talked about that. They did talk about that in the community update. So Switch is definitely on their radar. And I'm not sure how the game is going to play on Switch. I'm definitely curious to see how it's going to play on Switch, and also how it's going to look, but that is something that I will definitely um, be keeping an eye on and staying on top of for you guys. Now, but anyways, I think we're going to wrap it up right there because that honestly is pretty much the main top, all the main topics that I wanted to address in regards to the latest community update because again, this community update didn't really feature that much in terms of actual content re in regards to the American Wilds expansion, so I wanted to wait and see what the community's reaction to it was and then actually do uh, my overview video and my actual opinions and, uh, and of course, get your guys' opinions in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the Mudrunner USA or uh, American Wilds expansion. Tell me why you think they didn't show anything in this last uh, latest community update. And tell me what you think is going to be in this expansion in terms of content. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more daily videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you all later.